a new text to image model. This one's by Baidu, it's called Ernie VILG 2.0, just released a couple of days ago. Let's take a good look at it. Ernie, the text model stand for Enhanced Representation Through Knowledge Integration and the Vilge part Vision Language Generation. This is the second version. Let's try some prompts. These get converted from English into Chinese. A baby panda in the snow wearing red hat, yellow gloves, green sweater, and blue pants. Pretty high quality if you ask me. Let's try a warship with blue and white porcelain texture. Beautiful. Obviously not photoshopped or taken from stock images. This is created by AI from scratch. A crane is standing on the calm lake with a bright moon surrounded by clouds in the background. And a cheerful corgi walks in the sunset. The light is coming from the right and the ground is golden. Looks incredible. Only Vilge 2.0 is not the largest model. It only used 170 million text image pairs. So it's about 20% of the size of Dolly 2 and way smaller than Stable Diffusion or the Google models, but it's already outperforming them. In fact, we'll look at some human ratings of Ernie Vilge 2.0 in a moment. Let's have a look at some adversarial prompts where Dolly 2 and Stable Diffusion can't actually meet it, either because of spatial placement or colors. Here's a green cup and a blue cell phone. And Dolly 2 tries to do this, but it gets a little bit confused. You'll see this is actually a blue cup and a green cell phone by Dolly 2. There's a couple of different versions of this. At least that cell phone looks good. On a plate. Let's give this to Stable Diffusion to have a go at. A green cup and a blue cell phone, it's just a green cup. It's uh, got a blue lid, so I suppose we're getting further away. There's an iPad in the background of this one, and I'm not even sure what that one is. If we give this to Ernie Vilge, it does something amazing. It gets the colors right, something we've not been able to do with other models. A green cup and a blue cell phone five different versions of this one as well. This model is completely open. There's a link in the description and we'll jump through a demonstration at the end of this. Let's have a look at another adversarial prompt, a wine glass on top of a dog. Dolly 2 gives it a go. The dog's inside the wine glass here. Uh, same with this one. Uh, you're not even the right way up, dog. This dog is getting into the wine glass. Stable Diffusion is going to give it a go as well. Looking at the wine glass, maybe begging to have something inside the wine glass. Uh, this guy's either drinking from or spitting into the wine glass. <laughs> and again, a dog inside the wine glass. Look at how Ernie Vilge 2.0 handles this spatial representation of a wine glass on top of a dog. Perfectly in this instance. Another great example. No wine in that glass. Maybe the dog drank it. I like the look of that dog. These are super high res. Ernie Village pushes straight out to 1024 by 1024. And here are the ratings for Ernie Village 2.0 versus Dolly 2. So all of the blue sections are preferences, usually over 50%, highest for scene and color versus Dolly 2. Here's Ernie Village 2.0 versus Stable Diffusion. Again, preferred across the board, 
highest for complexity, cartoon output, and some of the test suites. Here's why I like this model so much. The vice president of Baidu back in April 2022 said, artificial intelligence and large scale models should be open to the public and only when the threshold is so low that everyone can use them conveniently can there be a real large scale outbreak of creativity, something that Stable Diffusion and others have taken to heart. Here's the demonstration site hosted by Hugging Face. There's gonna be a few versions of this hosted. This is definitely the 2.0 version. Only Village 1.0 came out months and months ago, but this is just a few hours or days old. Back when I was in kindergarten, we had to draw on a plate that would that girl would get fired and we could um, eat off it with this kind of wacky prompt. I remember as five-year-olds, we all spent the full day trying to generate this. Daddy and me at the park, we're flying my balloon child's drawing. When I say generate, we were actually drawing it by hand. <laughs> I'm gonna click generate image here and we're fast forwarding this. It's gonna generate out to 1024 by 1024. Look at these outputs, just incredible. Each of these generated in less than a minute and all of them completely unique, completely from scratch. They're a little bit complex for me, so I'm gonna to add to this prompt simple line drawing, child simple line drawing for this prompt. These are just incredible. We'd call this a texter in Australia. You might know it as a marker or a Sharpie. Having a look at how a child might create that and take quite a while. And now having a look at how an AI, a very modern AI, would create this from scratch. Amazing. This one is, is probably my favourite. It's just... Mind blowing to me how this can be created like this from scratch. Let's try a completely different prompt. I do like playing with my oil paintings and palette knife prompts. Let's do a cityscape oil painting with palette knife. Make it colorful, vivid, and even though it's a painting, let's try ultra realistic and 8K. So it's like we've got a photo of the painting. A minute later, we've got this output. Super colorful. This one's got some trams or buses in the background. Oh, I like this one as well. Very colorful, looks like uh, Paris or maybe New York. Got quite a few different versions here. Each of them thought up, conceptualized by AI. Photoshop's not involved here. Stock photos are not involved here. During its training, it saw 170 million images, but it's then going out to imagine them. Once again, I invite you to join the memo. I'm sending out two free books to my paid subscribers tomorrow, the 1st of November. One of them by Mid Journey, where it crafted a manga comic book, and one of them by Stable Diffusion and Dolly together. That one's really cool. See you soon. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah, didn't you get that memo? Life Architect dot AI slash memo. I have the memo.